Welcome, 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 welcome back to another episode of Quick Hits um, on 3D Boxing Podcast. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, real quick, 8 to 10 minute shows, twice a day, only once on Sunday. So this is a lone show of, on Sunday, uh, every other day, Monday through Saturday, we come out and give you tw- two shows a day. Uh, we got a great topic for y'all today, the return of Donnie Nietes, who looks spectacular in his first fight in 27, 28 months, and fought since December 31st of 2018, but he looked good. Uh, but before we get into breaking all that down, uh, please like and subscribe, share, hit the bell icon, hit the thumbs up, all that good stuff. Additionally, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, for an organization that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, talk, uh, the TACA, T-A-C-A, uh, the Autism Community in Action. Um, this is a, a, a charity that's worthwhile. It's near and dear to my heart. Um, one in 54 kids or something like that are, are now born with um or now, I'm sorry, or now on the autism, autism spectrum. Sorry about that. Um, so if you can share the the, the, the link, uh, if, if it's possible, if you guys have it, you can donate to it. That would be, it's worthwhile. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, but let's get right into today's show. Um, Donnie Nietes' return was nothing short of spectacular. Uh, he's 38 years old now. He did not look, look, he didn't look 100% of, of, of where he was, but he was real close. Uh, he's 90, 85 to 90 percent of what he was, which is going to make him trouble for anyone in this division. Look, if you remember, in his last fight, December thirty first, two thousand eighteen, in Macau, he beat Ioka, very close, very close to split decision. Obviously, there could be scorecards that go both ways on that, but it was that kind of fight. Every round in that fight was difficult to score. Now, um, what I and I think I, right at this point, Ioka is the best fighter in that division. Nietes. In his last fight, beat him. Now, that is two plus years ago. So, we're going to see where Nietzsche fits in. But 115 is now the best division in the sport. When you go through it, you, you have um, Chalk Latino, you have Estrada, you have Sor Rungvisai, you have Nietzsche, I- Ioka, Tanaka, Josh Franco, Andrew Maloney, Jerwin and Cajas. I mean, that division is so stacked. It is so good. It is the best division in the sport right now. 115 is the best division in the sport. Um, and there are so many good fights. Now, assuming Chocolatito and Estrada rematch each other or for the third time, um, where does uh, Nietes go from here? Because he's going to have lots of good options. And assuming that Franco and Maloney do fight, I'd like to see him face the winner of that fight or rematch with Ioka. Those are the two fights I'd like to see him see Nietes in. And just his style... You know, against Franco, and I'm thinking Franco beats Maloney in a rematch. Um, that's a fight I really want to see. It's a legacy fight. You know, it, it gives Nietes the, the the scalp of one of today's great uh, super flyweights, or it elevates Franco into rare air. It puts Franco into the mix. It puts Franco in the conversation of the best 115 pounder in the world. So that's a fun I'd really like to see. You got the come forward boxer puncher style, the aggressive offensive style of Josh Franco, with the defensive wizard tree and the mastermind, and the combination punching and the footwork and angles of Nietes. It's a great fight. Um, or the other option, I, I would like to see a rematch with Ioka. Um, Ioka's coming up with a spectacular one over Tanaka. Um, Ioka and Nietes, the first fight was, was excellent. Um, I'd like to see him again. I, I would probably edge towards Ioka just because Nietzsche is aged, but the first fight was so good. Nietzsche doesn't look like he's, you know, his talents or, or abilities have digressed, so I don't know. But if they digressed at all, and that first fight was as close as it was, it's going to be hard to say Ioka didn't, isn't going to win. But I would love to see the rematch. Um, so, that, look, the division is so good, and there's so much, there's so many stack fights, and, and, and High-level fighters in that division. So many world-class future Hall of Famers. Future Hall of Famers in that division. You can't go wrong with who Nietzsche fights next. Um, 
you just like you just go through the, the names. Jordan and Chaos is not the fight that the first fight I would make, but it's a great fight. Um Saw Rung Vasai. Why not fight Saw Rung Vasai? I know Rung Vasai is the mandatory for the winner of Estrada and Chocotito, so she probably wouldn't take that risk. Uh, but I, I tell you who would it's Kazai Oka or Josh Franco. And if if, if this Franco and Baloney fight doesn't get made, I would look to I would look to fight Josh Franco. Um, you could do it in the U.S. where he's been a draw. You could do it in L.A. I, I think, you know, um, you could do it in Texas um, where Franco uh, does well. I really like that fight. Um, but Nietzsche looks like he's back, and, and he's going to be another player. Look, he's, not just another, he's a Hall of Famer with all-world skills uh, back in the deepest, most stacked division in the sport. I get he's 38, but he didn't look 38. And I, I'm not saying he's 100%. And, and, and look, that was his first fight in two-plus years, so obviously there's going to be some ring rust. He looked good, though. He looked real good. Uh, he looked better than Rung Visay's return. He looked better than Chocolatito's return. He looked good. So Nietzsche goes right back into the middle of the equation at 115. He is a major player at 115. And, and with those skills, like I said, he beat Ioka, who I think he's the best guy in the division. All right? He beat Ioka. Could he fight the winner of Chocolatito Estrada 3? That's a great fight. That guy might have to fight. There's so many good fights here. 115, it's an exciting time in 115, given the performance of Nietes. You have Ioka, Tanaka, and Kejas. You have Chocolatito and Estrada, uh, Josh Franco and Maloney. You're going to have a combination of all these guys fighting each other. And it's 115. They aren't paid a ton of money. They aren't paid like welterweights. They aren't paid like heavyweights. So they're going to fight each other because it's the only way they can make big bucks is to make the best fights. And we're going to get that. Um, it, it, it's a good, good, good thing to have Donnie Yetes back in play. Um, at 38, he's still completely relevant. He doesn't look shot. He doesn't look bad. I'm looking forward to seeing him fight again. Um, all the wizardry, all the magic that we've gotten to see with Nietzsche's over the decades. Now, his last loss was in 2004. His last loss was 17 years ago. Um, and that was a split decision loss. Now, he's got a bunch of draws. I think he's got five He's got five draws. Um, but Nietzsche's is back, guys. And that's it's good for boxing. It's good for 115-pound division. And it's excellent. Great for hardcores. And I know that if you're following this show, you're definitely a hardcore. Uh, but let me know in the, in the comments below. Ooh, sorry. Let me know in the comments below. Um... Leave your thoughts. What did you think of Nietzsche's performance? Are you ex as psyched as I am to have him back in this division? Uh, because I am. Um, thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, putting that link for uh, Taka, the, the Autism Community in Action, in the uh, description. Please share that. Um, that's free. You can share it for free. If, if you can donate to it, if it's something that you have the ability and the funds to do, please consider it. Um, again, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. We're back tomorrow with two shows uh, from Texas. Oh, speaking of the little guy, Ivan Calderon, who's talking about making a comeback, is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame from Texas to the world. Thank you. That was a little premature. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.